My name is Laura Chick. I served on the Los Angeles City Council from 1993 until 2001. Interestingly enough, I was the first councilwoman to ever chair the City Council's Public Safety Committee. I then served as Los Angeles City Controller from 2001 to 2009. I came into office shortly after the civil unrest, which was a reaction to the Rodney King beating and, and other injustices. And the feeling, not just in City Hall, in the, in the city, was crime is rampant. There, there are gangs in the city. There are murders, you know, homicide rate is up. And so the name of the game was crime suppression, crime reduction, and property protection. So, you know, police officers were needed. The city was hungry for them. And at the same time, we had the bad apple officers coming to light. The Police Protective League is the union that represents the sworn police officers in the Los Angeles Police Department. One of the top mandates of the union is to deliver lucrative contract to their members and also to protect them when they do something wrong. So often the union was advocating for not to release police misconduct records. And they contribute big to elected officials in their campaigns and their priorities. I was never one of the council members that the league could march into my office and say, we need you on this one, Laura. And that's kind of one of the games played in City Hall. I have felt from the day I took office until today that one of the most important qualities that is very tragically missing from today's city hall leaders and elected officials is courage. And I feel strongly that if we want a less empowered union that is often moving to protect bad apples and thwart a really thorough, transparent, disciplinary system, then elected officials and people running for elected office should stop taking contributions from police unions. From my experience as city controller, there's huge amounts of money that could be saved just from efficiency and cost effectiveness measures. And then there's a bunch of money that can be spent differently to make our community safe other than policing. And that's what I think we're hearing from many people.